right, guys, I'm back with another video. So some of you aren't going to like, uh, aren't going to like his pose. Uh, you know, I, I can't please everybody. So I'll go ahead and let you know. It took me like five minutes uh, to make each of these poses. Uh, they're not hard. If you follow the steps that I've outlined in previous videos, uh, then you can make them too. Now, if I come over to uh, one thing to note is that when you're switching between these characters like this, sometimes it doesn't always update properly when you switch back to the uh, DAO character. Uh, but yeah, some of these guys, you might not like uh, the way that it looks on some of them. It may look more appropriate, like the way that I have his arm back like this and that arm forward looks kind of stylized. It probably looks better on him than any of the other ones. Uh, the female, and yeah, I don't, I'll, I'll, I'll fix that in the next update. Uh, whenever you switch, they should be destroyed, actually, but um, I just have them dropping. Uh, but yeah, so the females all have uh, feminine uh, poses now. And like I said, it takes five minutes to uh, modify these, uh, to fix them, change them, whatever. Uh, so feel free to if you don't like them. I was uh, I made this subtle the changes a bit more subtle for the metahuman males due to that complaint uh, after having just posted a, uh, a snapshot of the UEFN. I already knew there were going to be more complaints, so I went ahead and uh, uh, swapped or well, made some changes to that one. Uh, so here you'll see the females. And also we have this map here now that kind of helps you guys that are new. And if you come over here and you press F, you know, you'll do a, perform a takedown. Now, uh, that those takedowns are met and made for the UEFN character. So they're going to look perfectly in sync for the U, between the UEFN characters. But if you do on the other ones, they may or may not be perfectly in sync. Uh, it's going to depend on how close they are to the other character and how well the IK retargeter is performing. Uh, but yeah, that's basically that's basically the rundown. Now I'll go ahead and uh, walk you through uh, the logic of how this works. So if you change your character, uh, look at the DAO bodies uh, blueprint, which is under the uh, DAO character metahumans folder right here. Look at this as a reference guide. Uh, guys, because uh, you do need to update this state. You need to refresh it. Uh, force refresh this held object state anytime you change that. Uh, there's some other things in here that you may need to do as well now. Now that we have uh, this overlay default overlay data, that's your default overlay pose uh, for your unarmed state. So when you're not holding a weapon, it'll automatically default to this. Uh, so let that be known. Uh, that's a variable that's stored on the parent class. And so if I come over here to the parent class, you'll see that I force update this at the start. I have to force update this uh, in order to force it in, in order to force the held object state, because I have to bypass this, uh, because it's going to check to see if it's the same. So I bypass that, so it'll just force update it. And when it force updates it, it's going to run this uh, on rep function, and it's going to see nothing's being held in the hands. They're both both hands are free, and so it's going to perform this stuff right here. So that's basically the rundown on that. You right now I don't have this categorized. I forgot to categorize it. I'll categorize it in the next update. Uh, but yeah, so that's the rundown on that. So you can go in here and you can look at the, uh, you can modify this, you know, make changes or whatever, or replace it with your own. Uh, that's up to you. Probably best to replace it with your own version if you want different logic in there on that. Now, remember, we're just blending between these poses in here. We are not playing transition animations and blending between two really different things where, where the amount of movement to get from one point to another is large, it's going to look unnatural. Uh, that's just the nature of blending. Blending is 
it looks unnatural uh, whenever it has to fill in large gaps. Uh, so uh, if you want those to, to look better, you'll have to fill in those gaps yourself with, uh, with transition animations. I, I, I'm, I may work up to that at some point. Uh, we'll have to see. Now over here on the character blueprint, uh, I will show you over here on the event graph. And I haven't actually uh, put notes on this properly yet, but I did do the video that walks you through what I'm doing here. And you can watch that. And this is the takedown that I just added. So that's going to be right here under the um, primary event graph. So that's the rundown on that, guys. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video.